Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Well, I'm out here again at Whedon Island. We're gonna go ahead and uh, do some dock fishing for some sheep's head. So I'm getting set up. There goes my little baby. This time I brought my Hobie Outback. It's low tide. And we're gonna go ahead and get this started. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, we're off. You know, I was gonna fish the Gandhi Bridge underneath the bridge, but it's just way too windy. And I'm not gonna take that chance by myself. You know, if I would have been with someone else or two other people, then yeah, you know, it would have been fine. But going by myself, nah, the water is kind of kind of choppy and it's just too windy. So change of plans. I'm at Whedon Island and I'm gonna fish the docks. Hey guys, I'm testing out my new camera up front. You can see me. Sorry about the wind noise, it's kind of windy. So, hopefully this works. Okay guys, I'm here at the dock. I'm actually using my BG3000. And it's paired with uh, my Stella Light Star Rod. It's a 6 foot 6 medium heavy action. using a small bottom sweeper jig I believe this is the quarter ounce I might go a little heavier because the current is kind of strong let's see how it goes I also have filler crabs some mud crabs I've got these clam balls these oyster balls, I'm sorry, that I made yesterday. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and start with that. Let's start off with these little oyster balls. There you go. Let's see how that goes. I'm going ahead and toss it right by this pylon right here. Let's see how it goes. You guys want to try right here in front of this piling. Let's see how that goes. Let's bring this guy in. Nice one. Ugh, nice one. Okay. okay. Alright guys. There you go. First one. First one of the morning. Let's see how what he measures. 14 inches. All right, guys, let's try it again. Got him. There you go. Got him. Close. Another one. There 
you go, guys. <laughs> nice one. Let's see, he's 14 inches. So that's two at 14 inches. Try it again. All right, let's drop it back down. Right along the piling. guy's about 12 but I'm not gonna keep him I think it's too small Open up. Oh boy. So, you know, there's a bunch of small ones. Keep taking my bait. Oh, I had them on. A small one. Like I said, uh, I have to move out of this spot. Bait, catching small sheep. I think it's time to move. Alright, another one. Ooh, he's fighting good. one there you go guys 14 inches I have three 14 inch sheep's head 
my guys hooked into another one. This one's smaller. Yeah, he's small. A small guy. Next. Okay, guys, moving to a different location. Wind is picking up. And, uh, I don't know, Sheep says not biting as much right now. I did map three of them in a 14 inch range. Man, this is shallow here. Oh my gosh, guys. There's one, two, three. There's three huge snook in front of me. They're huge. I don't know if you can see them. They're right there in front of me. Oh my God. That right there. 30 plus inches right there. Oh my gosh. They, they don't want to hit the DOA. Oh no. Hey everyone, well you know what time it is, time to go home. Well I had a pretty good day today, you know besides the wind, it was okay. I caught about six sheep's head, uh, only three were keepers. Funny thing is that all three that I kept were all 14 inches, all three of them. So I'm going home with some, with some fish. Other than that, guys, I have really, I really don't have much to say. But um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, guys, please subscribe, like, share, leave a comment below. I'm actually almost at 300 subscribers, so I'm aiming for 300 before the year ends. So please, uh, if you guys that haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It, it helps me out a lot. That's my goal, is 300, you know, before the year ends, and uh, I'm almost there, so please, guys. Other than that, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and tight lines. Bye.